welcome to the Death Battle cast. Uh, we are the cast and crew of Death Battle. I'm a little tired. <laughs> this is, right. is going to be Good. fun. Um, I, I'm Ben, I play Wiz. I'm Nick, and I write things. Hi, I'm Torian, I'm a 3D animator. I'm, I'm, I'm not Torian, I'm Gerardo. You changed. I was going to say, yeah, so that name up there doesn't Hi. spell Torian. I'm uh, Gerardo, I work um, researching Death Battle and editing yeah. Battle. Uh, and I'm Shadow, play Boomstick. What's real up? quick, real quick, I just want to mention how Gerardo's name his handle on Twitter is Hybrid Rain. <laughs> I want to know the story behind Hybrid Rain. Oh, really? All of us are just our names. <laughs> I know. Except it, for you. It's, it's, it's a really dumb Please story. Please tell us the story. I already Long know Long time it is, ago, I, I, I used to play uh, Counter Strike, and I used to be called Solid Snake at that point. It was weird. Solid Snake? Solid, Solid Snake. Oh, oh, yeah. Call you Solid Snake. Yeah, yeah, Solid Snake. How old were you at the time? time? Uh, at the time. I was like 14, 13, something yeah, like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Either way, I just trying to figure out like a handle for myself. It's like, oh, the word hybrid sounds cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. I just spread bullets everywhere. So it's a rain of bullets. It's a hybrid hybrid rain. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And it stick out for the longest time. And then I look at back and it's like, oh, God. <laughs> well, you know, it sort of gives you the power to change that. Well, he, he, at this point, really, man, this here's point the thing. Is, here's the thing. If you don't know, Gerardo has been a part of the ScrewTech community since like almost its inception. Yep. Um, yeah. Back before we joined uh, Rooster Teeth, he was a G1 of the year. He's been a uh, part of the community for a long time. Eventually, was brought on to the uh, the crew, <clears throat> and now works on Death Battle. And he was known in the community since day one as yeah, Hybrid Rain. Yep. So even if he wanted to change it, I really doubt he could. Like and everybody at the community was like, hey, Hybrid, hey, Hybrid, hey, Hybrid. This is just like, this is just me. Yeah, and, uh, it's stuck. Yeah. Anyway, uh, stuck, real, real so. quick, uh, I want to uh, thank uh, Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this episode yeah. of Death Battle Cast. Uh, we'll have something special you can get with them later on in the show. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> it just came rolling out of me. <laughs> Sorry, he's just like, oh no. Uh, what have I done? Thanks, Dollar Shave Club. Nick got so excited he couldn't contain I it. I couldn't hold it in anymore. <laughs> I had he's to let so the deals excited. come out. <laughs> it was like wonderful. Oh time. <laughs> there was a moment when I knew, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't do it in the middle of the Dollar Shave yeah. Club thing. <laughs> 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 He's so excited. For you uh, all right. Um, oh, that'll help. Slowly <laughs> have more soda. All right. So we got. A, I got a little taste of something else I didn't want, so I'm trying to drown it. <laughs> <laughs> so we get. We got a few things uh, to talk about today. Um, last episode, we talked about the rules of death battle, and there were some follow-up questions um, that I feel like it'd be good to get to. But before we do that. Um, we have a preview of the Doctor Strange versus Doctor yes. Fate animation. <laughs> it comes out next week, June 11th for first members, June 13th uh, on YouTube. We have a preview. However, we are pre-recording this episode yep. because the schedule's pretty busy here at Rooster Teeth this week. So <laughs> we are recording this episode of Death Battle Cast before the audio for Stranger vs. <laughs> Fate is finished. Normally it would be finished long before we record uh, this, but <laughs> yes. because of the way our schedule works out, the audio is not done. The music is, though. Yep. yep. But like the sound effects, <laughs> the voice, it's not all like mixed and, and, and properly leveled and stuff. So I guess we're just gonna have to do it ourselves. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Dibs on voices. You want to do <laughs> yeah. both oh. voices? I don't know, or or somebody else. Can I, th do I think that. you got to divvy them up because okay, we're both gonna fine. be saying spells at each other, and <laughs> right. you don't have good mouths. So I'll get I'll get Doctor Strange. <laughs> I'll do the magics. I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be I'll, I'll, the I'll be Doctor Fate. I don't know anything about okay. it. Okay, sweet. But I'll be Doctor <laughs> yeah. Fate. Nick is not the writer for this episode, <laughs> nope. so he doesn't nope. know. It. That's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, the only problem is that actually this isn't a problem. Fate wears a helmet, so yeah. you're not gonna have lip flaps. <laughs> yeah, just determine whatever. <laughs> whenever he talks. Um, yeah, sounds good. Also, you're doing all the magic. I'll do all the magics. How about that? I then what am I doing? Okay, okay. How about, how about we combine the magic? How about okay? You, you guys are wearing gray shirts. You're on that side of the the set. How about you do the magic for Doctor Doctor Strange's effects? Perfect. We're, 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 we're the brightly <laughs> colored team here. Yeah. Enough. Let's do okay. it. Let's do it. All right. So let's go ahead and bring up the preview. And right. this is gonna be terrible. I've seen this <laughs> once, and I don't. Not the animation, it. like us. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Pizza Hut? <laughs> <laughs> I want a pepperoni large, what? double anchovies. Can, can you, can you take my order? <laughs> Here's this money. I'll buy it for you, from you. I don't have any fucking pizza. 
Well, then I guess we'll fight. <laughs> Suck lasers. <laughs> oh, no, lasers. <laughs> Teleportation. Uh, Sausage pizza. Uh, uh, I uh, don't uh, want good. Uh, God. Peanut butter on my pizza. No. Here's what are you doing? Magic for you. No, don't do that. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, that was good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, but here I am. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, 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 my, my Lord. Lord. <laughs> Take this Egypt attack. Ebor What's happening? Ebor Look, Ebor Egypt attack, Ebor Egypt attack, Ebor Egypt attack. I'll just go through this portal I made. Where'd you go? Behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you need to go see like a doctor. You need to get some. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Rock. Getting applause. Oh my gosh, that, that just was fun. Be. Animation aside, that just may be the worst thing <laughs> we have ever done. I also oh, like. I love you. Walked up. Is this Pizza Hut? Cracked me up. But then he's like, he committed. Like I thought it was gonna be just his intro <laughs> joke, but he's like, no, this whole thing's gonna be about pizza. All right. <laughs> now, whenever you watch the full episode. You know that the true context is he's wanting a pizza, and Doctor Strange didn't <laughs> give it to him. Therefore, one must die. <laughs> I mean, that could be the concept of the community death battle we'll talk about later on. Uh, hey, okay. Ninja Turtles versus uh, Power Rangers. That's there true. we go. Yeah. Um, normally, we would have the poll live right now that you that you can vote on, but because we're pre-recording, uh, we did it over Twitter over the weekend. But we'll get to that, you know, at the end of the show. Um, but yeah, good job, guys. Thanks. Good that job, was fun. Strange and Face stand-ins. Yeah. Um, I think we should brushing do that up more my often. voice acting resume, Ben. Mm, yeah. I'm telling you now. <laughs> we need we need to do that more often. That was too much fun. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of these uh, follow-ups to the rules. So if we bring up the rules, just just to kind of like really quick recap them. Rule one: Combatants possess no prior knowledge of each other unless specified by canon or otherwise. Rule two: To ensure a fair fight, all moral restraints from killing are ignored. All the other traits are considered. Rule three, a character's maximum potential is examined unless otherwise specified. Factors unrelated to characters cannot end the battle. And rule four, all official material related to a character is applied unless found contradictory to original source material. Now, if you did miss last week's episode, we went through all of those in detail and really kind of discussed why we um, determined cer certain rules and, and what they mean for the show. Uh, but there were three follow-up questions that I thought would be um, interesting or worthwhile to uh, uh, kind of talk about right now. Um, for example, Joel Haggis, uh, I believe this was a YouTube comment, says, if factors unrelated to characters can't end the match, as said in rule number three, then how about from the environment? For example, spoiler, uh, <laughs> in Flash vs. Quicksilver, Flash kills him by impaling him, and it's pretty clear it was an accident, and yes, Quicksilver was losing anyway, but if they ended up somewhere else, he wouldn't have died. Dibs. Again. Oh, okay. It's, it's not like you're watching reality. Like we didn't magic these characters into a plane, and this is exactly how it played out. We had already determined which character was going to win, and thought that that would be a unique and entertaining way to showcase someone's death. Sure. I mean, I can kind of understand <laughs> the idea that if we showcase the environment itself killing the opponent, then the other character, the victor, is not actively doing it, and that could be a problem. I, I don't like having. I don't like the idea that the. One, the losing character dies in a way that the other character doesn't bring Directly about. Do, right, yeah. That's why that's a rule. Um, not only because having them die some other way would be completely against the idea of death battle in the first place, um, but just like making it a clear-cut rule just makes sense to me. Uh, the, th the thing about this example is that basically he's saying if, if Quicksilver had landed anywhere else, he would have survived, right? <clears throat> you might be forgetting how he got to that sword that impaled him was Flash shot him with an explosive lightning bolt that blasted him out of an alternate dimension <laughs> hundreds of miles away, across hundreds of miles in less than a millisecond, and he slams into a statue. Yeah. I don't think it matters where he was gonna <laughs> land. Like, done. He's done, <laughs> he's dead. So, it, I mean, and there's also the aspect of like, we want to keep the fights fun and fresh each time, and creative deaths are always important to us. Uh, it, yep. Like it'd be kind of boring if every single episode ended with just like the victor punching blowing up, off. yeah, mm -hmm. punching their head off or, or blowing up the, the the enemy. So we we don't necessarily try to break this rule or whatever in order to create creative deaths, but we do definitely have fun around it. 
um, coming up with n new ways for characters to die. It was pretty clear that yeah. Flash won that fight. Like, so it was okay that we. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you could also say like, Twilight gets killed by Raven, <laughs> f launching herself at her at, at Mach 73 or whatever it was, like. If the ground wasn't there, she wouldn't have been killed. <laughs> like, that's basically the same argument, but like, I, I don't know. Um, I, I can understand why it's a little confusing, but uh, we just like to have fun with the deaths, but we definitely won't have the environment in and of itself be the main factor of right. why the character. And the other thing is, before we even write the fight script, like, we have already determined who wins. Absolutely. Like, the, the research is what determines who beats who, and then we write the fight script, so. Right, well, and this also kind of, leads into the second follow-up question is uh, uh, YT Chip asks, I believe this is from the uh, Rooster Teeth page, I don't have a problem with like, say, Batman and Spider-Man fighting in a city, but I think giving Leonardo sewers was a bit much of a turf advantage. It'd be like Aquaman fighting Iron Man and the whole fight took place underwater. Mm. And my response is, of course Aquaman is gonna fight underwater. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a part of his character. Yeah. I, I understand the idea that uh, Leonardo going into the sewers in the animation might have seemed a little, like, one-sided for him because that provided him an opportunity. But, like, that was the idea. He's a ninja. It could have been anywhere. We yeah. just made it the sewers. Could have been a warehouse. That's what we want to or... see. Yeah. Like, as a ninja, we want to show that for Ninja Turtle. Yeah, even, you know? and that was like, yeah. early, like this is episode what five that we did, Something and like even that. then, like, like I've said before, the rules have changed since then. But even then, like the environment there was just used to kind of showcase Leonardo's ninja skills and his stealth, which could be applied in any environment. An alley or yeah, like whatever. So yeah, it didn't have to be sewers. So that's kind of the general idea. And, and yeah, like if we were to do Iron Man versus Aquaman. Of course, Aquaman would take the fight <laughs> underwater. Like, why would he not? So we're gonna have to, we're gonna provide that water to him because it's mm -hmm. part of his character. It's part of what he does. That's what you would want to see. If we didn't provide Aquaman water, everyone would just be like, "This is the most bullshit rigged fight I've ever seen." Put him yeah. on the, the watchtower yeah. or something. The Justice League watchtower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's he gonna he's do? In he's in space. space. Good luck, Aquaman. I mean, he's still pretty much a badass. Yeah. yeah. Like the waters. A lot of people don't give him be enough that. credit. Like Aquaman is beefed out, like, oh, yeah. he can destroy the world. Yeah, but like, if we were to bring Aquaman into death battle and he didn't talk to fish, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the last follow-up question is from Lunchbox893. Uh, um, and this is an interesting one that I think is oh, a I lot of people might be wondering. <laughs> Look at that. Unprofessional as shit, Chad. You started the thing saying you were tired. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, Nick dude. burped. We're all kind of... <laughs> so far, Gerardo's the only one I haven't fucked up yet. No, I'm just kidding. Gerardo's the most professional yeah. of us all. Oh, it'll happen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go for it. Um, do you intentionally stay away from using reality warping characters? Does this mean... <laughs> we, we'll we just... <laughs> Does this kinda... mean we'll never see a death battle with characters like Alucard from Helsing or D from Vampire Hunter D? It makes it much harder to find that matchup but we'll defi we're definitely pursuing those options. You can actually ask Ben. We have like the conversation, we have the Alucard conversation like multiple years. Uh, yeah. Multiple times a year. I and mean, I, I think literally the fight that's coming up right now <laughs> kind of answers this yeah. question, because like Strange and Fate are reality warping characters. Mm -hmm. Like maybe they can't necessarily do the same things that, that God tier characters can, where they literally rewrite. Re well, they, they can kind of, they, they rewrite reality all the time. Um, they're they're, they're less ridiculous. defined. They're, there are certain uh, there are, there are certainly characters that I would think of more defined as reality warpers, like uh, uh, Doctor Manhattan, mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. doctor. Right. Uh, another doctor, yeah. <laughs> but like he's an instantaneous. He's known for his reality warping mm -hmm. powers. Like that's his thing. He's basically God. So like bringing him into a death battle, it's a tricky idea because who do you pit him against? Who could like compete with that? Right. But so long as we can get a good matchup, yeah, sure, we'll bring a character like that into it. Yeah, and it, and. These are the conversations that Ben, like I said, we'll have like multiple times. Like we, it's like an ongoing thing that we always have like in the back burner. You know, it's like who's gonna be like we have these couple characters that we're like, man, they're insane. Like Doctor Manhattan, Alucard, and we're like, who could actually give them a run for their money and like potentially <laughs> even win? And like what what's gonna create a good matchup that you guys want to see? I'm pretty sure we got the Alucard one figured out too, which I'm excited about. So well, who knows? You'll see that maybe. We don't necessarily what's stay up? away from using reality warping characters. I think the easiest way to, to think about it is it's just more difficult to find a good matchup for them. Yep. That's really all it is. All right, and that's it. Cool. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thanks for the follow-up uh, questions. Nice. Yeah, this is great. And if you have any more follow-up questions, like I said before, like hit us up on Twitter. Uh, we had our Twitter handles up earlier, including Hybrid, hybrid Rain. Rain of Bullets. 
Have we, <laughs> have we not done that to Chocolate Rain? That'd be good. We should do that. Hybrid Rain. Hybrid Rain. Actually, we're only like 10 years late on that one. It's actually, um, a lot of G1s have a song of me because I used to do like a really? Hard News Weekend Edition kind of while so, Destin so, was doing it. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So everybody was like, Hybrid Rain. Oh, that was the so, news so, while so Destin it's already been feels done. the pain. Hybrid yeah. Rain. Oh, wow. Somebody actually did do yeah, it. Okay, cool. Did. I think. Tom, Tom the Iron Man must have it, even I'm have sure something he there. He sure mm -hmm. has. Storage Tom for Tom has everything. He's he, like our he's backup, our, backup. He's our yeah. archive. He's our, arch yeah. he, he's <laughs> our cloud storage. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Just store it in the Tom. Ooh, that yeah. sounded, sorry, Tom. That sounded bad. No, I don't apologize. Oh. <laughs> it's like, uh, All right, let's break the awkwardness <laughs> by talking about the Dollar Shave Club. How about that? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. Absolutely, because <sighs> that'll get us right it's on track. Chase. And looking Zeus. and feeling good, Ben, because... I'm sure you guys have heard by now. Uh, the Dollar Shave Club, uh, they don't, they're not just uh, their razors. Um, they, have ev they deliver everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best. Um, so we've got some good uh, news for you, uh, and they've got a lot of stuff to help you out. So uh, Dollar Shave Club uh, delivers everything you need. Yep, I already did that. I'm sorry. I'm kind of all over the place today. Uh, so uh, you guys name it. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, hair gel, even a wipe uh, that will leave your tushy feeling tingly clean. I ooh, had to read that ooh. exactly. Oh my! Uh, so listen, I, I'm a big fan of their uh, amber and lavender calming body cleanser, uh, which uh, Sam was talking about the last time we did this read. It's, it's, uh, it smells real good. Uh, <laughs> all of Dollar Shave Club's products are made with top shelf ingredients that won't break your budget. You will feel the difference. Plus, shipping is free with your membership. Uh, so here's a great way to try a bunch of Dollar Shave Club products. For just five bucks, you can get their Daily Essential Starter Set. It comes with body cleanser, one wipe Charlie's, their amazing butt wipes, their world famous uh, shave butter, and their best razor, the Six Blade Executive. Uh, keep the blades coming for a few more bucks a month uh, and add in uh, shampoo, toothpaste, or anything else you need. So check all that out at dollarshaveclub.com slash cast. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash cast. Sweet. You should definitely Woo. try it out. They've been a long time sponsor of the episode. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. Paul uses it. Uh, yeah, we're bringing him back. All the time. Right? Yeah. Paul's look a at, big fan of Dollar Shave Club. Look at how clean he's, he's he is. screaming with joy. In fact, he made Smooth. his jar. The reason he's so happy is because it's just filled with that awesome lavender stuff. Oh, look at that. Is look he absorbing him. that liquid? Like, it's yeah, way it's, it's, further it's gone down. down. <laughs> it used to, like, kind of come out of the lid. Oh, he, no, he's I, been drinking it. Oh, that's how he survived. <laughs> that yeah. makes sense. Okay. I mean, it's not like we're taking him to lunch. I mean, or some did like spill yeah. out on Nick when he was messing with him last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was that much, though. No, it was not. <laughs> it was. So not. that's like his food juices. I don't know. I think uh, it's like the, uh, <laughs> food juice. Oh. Not, not good <laughs> no. words to put together. No. That makes me uncomfortable. Would you like some food juice? <laughs> Paul food loves it. Food juice, Nick. <laughs> food food juice. All right. I think it's time to find out what's going on. So, I don't know if this quite like qualifies as part of the uh, death battle curse or whatever, but we're doing Strange versus Fate, and uh, everybody's favorite Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberpatch kid, Cabbage, uh, Cumber. Cabbage Patch kid, uh, is in the news recently. Okay. So, yeah, uh, Chad and I don't know what this is about. You were like, have yeah. you heard about Benedict yep. Cumberpatch? We were like, no, what yeah, about it was him? trending on Twitter for a little yeah. while. Um, it's just a little story that's kind of nothing bad. Around. It's always great. With <laughs> he's not. Yeah, he's not. He's like, um, he didn't touch anybody, right? No. Okay, good. <laughs> it, it, no. He didn't die, right? No. Okay. Okay. All right. We, well, we know that fine. every time somebody right now is being on the news or Twitter or something, oh no, not him or something. Like that. So it's let me good. tell it's you. Good. Let me tell you the story of Uber driver. Manuel Diaz. I thought you were about to say that he, that Dr. <laughs> Sorry. Now I got to I thought you were going to say Benedict Cumberbatch, like, started Uber driving. Yeah, that was going to be awesome. <laughs> like, he just started picking people up. He's just like, no. get in. <laughs> what ended up happening was this this guy, Manuel, he, he drives an Uber car. Uh -huh. um, and he picked up a, a man and a woman and was driving them to their destination. And as he was driving, they, I guess they stopped at a stoplight or something like that. And he hears some noise. And he looks over, and there's some poor guy on a bicycle getting beat up by four men, right? Holy shit. He's wow. being mugged by four guys, <clears throat> okay? And then out of nowhere, the guy in his back seat busts out of the car, runs over to the guy getting beat up, and beats the shit out of the other four guys. Okay. And then they run away because they and Diaz at that moment realize 
that it was Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor I'm an Avenger! And, like, could you imagine that moment? You're beating the shit out of this dude. You just Avengers. saw Infinity War, and then all of a sudden, Doctor Strange comes running at you. I'd be like, oh, fuck, he's real! Was, was, was he doing this thing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sling ring? Fucking magic's about to come at your ass. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Golly. That's amazing! I can't Rings imagine being the, the guy, the cyclist. Like, he's getting beat up by all these guys. Uh, this poor dude's getting mugged, and then all of a sudden they run off, and he looks up, and he was saved by Dr. Strange. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I can understand why the, the muggers would run away. You can't afford Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> yeah, you can't afford this. God, if I hurt that. him, the insurance premium is going to be insane. Like, <laughs> Crimson. You've already yeah, lost. Sit around. <laughs> <laughs> he just hit my face once. One eyelash will bankrupt you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of amazing. Did any hits yeah. land on Doctor Strange before they realized? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't going. really sound like it. It sounds like they were just like too shocked to do anything. Um, <laughs> but but. Cumberbatch course, has Dr. some Strange. decent, like he got the Marvel treatment, you know? Mm -hmm. He went through yeah. the Marvel uh, Marvel Studios like physical training yeah. uh, for in, in combat training. So the dude knows how to throw a punch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and take one too. So I'm not surprised that he could just take well, on the four random repulse. dudes. Yeah, yeah, well, wait, sorry, real quick. Is like Disney slash Marvel just actually training Real life superheroes? Is that what this was going to come out later? <laughs> like, know, I mean, look Chris at Chris Pratt. Pratt. <laughs> yes, exactly. <what> I'm <laughs> like, like he, they turned like look at Chris Pratt on Parks and Rec, and like look at him now, and you're like, and damn, Jurassic like World. yeah. Well, and, and so many of these actors that they get like love doing at least some of the stunts themselves. So, yeah, yeah. Cumberbatch yeah. included. Like he specifically tried to do a lot of the less like intense stunts like himself. Uh, yeah, so he's not gonna like fall off a 20 foot building as far as I know. But uh, that, that scene where uh, he's fighting the, uh, in the sanctum, when he's fighting the uh, uh, other wizards and they're like, yeah, they're yeah, tipping yeah. it around and stuff, uh -huh. like he did a lot of that. That's cool. Where he's just like falling around the, the hallway. Uh, so I, yeah, I totally buy the idea that he just can beat up four guys yeah. and scare them away. That's awesome. Yeah. You, there was a, a documentary I saw years ago back in college about some real life people who try to actually be superheroes. Oh yes. Like it's, oh, oh, there's a lot of that, it's, yeah. it's kind of yeah. fascinating to me actually. My, like, not as effective as like a real superhero of course, but like, it just, Interesting to oh, me. I remember. A, this is the whole thing. We looked up. Hair. Oh yeah, no, there's a couple. There's like a whole. There's like a league. There's a few leagues and stuff. Uh -huh. Formed yeah. up. Um, my favorite one, hands down, of real life superheroes. His name is I'll never forget it. Angle Grinder Man. Yes. <laughs> Angle Grinder yes. Man. His sole thing, I believe, he's in the UK, and he just goes around and he finds cars that have been booted. And he cuts them off. Yeah. He has a big ass oh. grinder, and he just cuts boots off of cars so that people don't have to pay the ticket. That's wonderful. There's That's like a awesome. registry or something. Yeah. Online, I'm trying to find I, it I've where you can find before. all these guys. That uh, looks like the most outdated website. Yeah, I, I just looked up superhero registry like, and found it one. It looks like late '90s Angel Fire GeoCities. <laughs> oh oh yeah. Yeah, this isn't the one that I was thinking. This I don't is the equivalent what, of like oh. the real life Justice League or Avengers website. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There's Angle Grinder Man. I like oh. oh my god. He even looks a little like Dr. <laughs> <Wow>. Fate. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. Just love give him the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that he's got this big ass grinder that has like its own little motor on it. Like my yep. god. Yeah, apparently like the police really don't like it. Real life superheroes.com. I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> Go to real life superheroes.com there and there is a whole some of these guys have like really good uh, like profile they're, pictures they're just too. Cosplayers, mm -hmm. I'm sure. There's another guy. I don't well, know if he's a uh, No, I, I recognize. No, no, they all. No, these are the real. These are the guys, yeah. I think. They all do something, but like some of okay. them just like do like community outreach stuff mm -hmm. or do Sweet. like charity drives and things. Yeah. Like there's a lot of cool stuff. And then, you know, some of them do also like I police the streets. There's all. There's one dude. A vigilante. Um, that guy was jacked. I mean, like he is straight up just ripped. And he just mm -hmm. walks the like the bad parts of town trying to like stop muggings and shit like that. Wow. So, like, that's cool. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, that's also somebody who's probably just like, I like to fight. So, like, yeah. Yeah. I, I think Perfect it's real life superheroes .com. But there, wrong, there's, but... it's well intentioned, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure the One probably... of them is just named Looking DC's Guardian. Okay. Like, DC Comics Guardian. Is he just a fanboy? Uh... He goes and beats up people who have broken continuity.
Oh, maybe it's Washington, D.C. Yeah, probably. Oh, maybe that's what okay, I was about to say. He's wearing, like, red, he's white, and blue. Washington. Okay. I was like, did, did he just steal? Because D.C. Comics does have a character named The Guardian. So... Uh, I remember, uh, there was he's, this other... Sorry, go. No, you first. Uh, you first. OC, I remember this other guy. I don't, I don't think he was an actual superhero, um, but he is in my book, because uh, his, I think this is also the U.K. Man, like, they really like to wow. you know, take care of the... You know, really get at the government, because the... Uh, what this guy would do is he would find potholes that the city wasn't repairing, and he'd just draw, he'd spray paint giant dicks over, oh, over the potholes. <laughs> because they weren't taking care of the potholes, but now they obviously, like, they don't want this giant dick in the street for everyone to see, so then they just go and fix it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he fills in a pothole himself. Oh, no. But that's... Well, yeah, that's that's, that's the DC dude. The, no. No? Yeah, this is, this is DC Guardian yeah. from Washington, DC. Dude, he... Huh. The real-life superhero. He's got his mask kind of spooky. It's I mean, like an alien smurf. A little bit. Like, from this distance, it kind of looks like, uh, uh, what's his face from Arrested Development? Oh. Uh, <laughs> like, he just oh. got painted Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, We're all blanking on the name. Sweet. Um, God, it's on the tip of my tongue now, too. The, the, the audience is just, like, oh. screaming at us right now, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, Job's the only is there, is there, or can there Tobias. be? Tobias. Tobias. Thank you. Tobias. Tobias. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is there or can there be such a thing as real life super villains? And can we join that? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty I mean... sure. I'm pretty sure one of those registries has like an arch nemesis, like. Oh yeah, section. I think so. That's silly. I'm but, pretty sure there was. I don't really remember how it worked, but you could be Dr. a Trash. superhero's arch nemesis. And Nick, you could be a super villain if you want. You'll yeah. just go to real jail. <laughs> Well, if I'm a super villain, I'm not going to be so hard to catch. You'll probably be easier because you'll be running around in a costume and yeah, you'll get tired. <laughs> Trip up on your cape. Yeah. Who says I need a cape? The capes are for the heroes. Remember, no capes. He's going to be like, I'm no picturing is like Nick is like Professor Chaos from South Park. Like, you know, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. all this minor inconvenience to people. <laughs> like you underestimate me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will never go to a theme park that you design ever. That's how he does. Oh, it. I'm Roller Coaster right now. Tycoon is a fun game. He, it's also known as Nick's Murder Simulator. Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> See? Did you hear this yeah. genuine? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, I killed so many. Hundreds. <laughs> Thousands. Like, Torian talks all the time about how he wants to be like yeah. a super villain or whatever. Is, oh, he's, Nick, all is he's all talk. Is Nick oh, yeah. the, the sleeping giant here, the oh, real yeah. threat? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Like I, uh, uh. I'll make a theme park. I'll make one of those, uh, those vertical launch roller coasters. I would never get a <laughs> really short. Nick, I love you, short but track, I've never ride high anything. launch speed. <laughs> <laughs> I would not step foot in your theme park <laughs> for two reasons: one, the roller coaster tycoon thing, and two, you're just like crazy past of everything breaking. Like that would be where I die. Like, I'm well, just... no, two, you wouldn't be able to leave because I do the thing where I put the sign that says no entry. I'd put it right by the entrance. <laughs> so once you get in, you just aren't allowed to. <laughs> Not allowed to leave. What happens if he starts Based revolution? Evil, everybody <laughs> tries to get right. out. There, there's no, there is no revolution in Roller Coaster Tycoon. They cannot revolt against you. Please send. Also, help. the bathrooms cost money. You fucking wow. monster! You this monster! I ran into that in UK, by the way. It blew me away. I was, uh, I was in King's Cross Station, and I needed to pee. And then I walked up, and there was like this turn, like uh, I'm trying to think, it's one of those like turnstile, turnstile thing. You know, they got the three mm -hmm. like yeah. bars or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like. And there's a coin slot, and I was like, surely they're not capitalizing off of my need to use the restroom. And then I was like, oh, I see somebody walk up and pay and go, and I'm like, oh, fuck me. Like, it wasn't that expensive, but I still I had to pay for it. And I was like, that seems really messed up. A few up. places in Colombia, they do the same thing, too. It's, it's, That's you don't messed see up. That. It's messed up. I know. Of all places, you don't see that in America, which I find surprising, and I'm not going to question it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't start giving them ideas. Because we carry guns around. We get pissed yeah. off and start shooting <laughs> it. <laughs> we'll right. Just yeah. shoot the yeah. thing. And get the, through they, it. They probably don't have it in Canada, because when they get service refused, they just shit on the floor. <laughs> yeah. So, like, like, what are they going to do? Yeah. They don't have guns. Well, I don't know. They might. <laughs> um, oh. All right, we... Uh, uh, we ran out of time to talk about and, and look at some uh, fan art last week, so I definitely want to look at that this week. Yep. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the community with the fan art from Jared Geronimo. Nice. That's the Yo! awesome name. So crazy. Really. That's awesome. <laughs> You're so, You're crazy. so crazy. Yeah, when we were the, uh, um, the Matrix clowns. Yeah. <laughs> and you and that hat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I look like a secret bit. character in a chibi fighting game. <laughs> Remember we said he looked like a he this was part me. of Mario Odyssey or yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, the next me. Like I got possessed by the the Mario Cappy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> only halfway though. I'm sorry, but the way you guys are drawn here, I'm like 100% convinced you're not wearing pants. 
I, I want oh, you to uh, yeah, like, Are they flashers? Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Oh, no. Oh, it's been ruined. ruined. <laughs> you ready? Ha! <laughs> 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 like, oh, God. Oh, no. Sorry if I yep. ruined that for you, Nick. No, no. Oh, some. Yes. Mm. I, I, I was aware of what we actually looked like. I, I was even saying as we were walking away from the costume department, I was like, no, we really should have grabbed, like, pants. Because <laughs> <laughs> now it's ambiguous whether it's the Matrix or the flasher on the street. Well, there you go. Mm. But hey, it's what you make of it, right? <laughs> it's your interpretation. Okay. All right, well, I think we got some more art to show in the back, but before we do that, there's a community con comment from Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake. I want to bring Jake up. Jake the Snake. Uh, and he says, I think I've started analyzing shows and movies more in depth after watching Death Battle cast, thanks <laughs> to us. Yep. Uh, for <laughs> helping me see things differently. Oh, we've talked about that oh, a few man. times. Like, yeah. Th that mindset will now like always be in the back of our minds. Like, yeah, I think it's gonna be like, so, like it's been a while since I skated, right? But like, one of the things I always would do is like scout rails. Like, if I see a rail around, you know, like I'm like, ooh, I gotta remember that because it'd be good to go back and like, yeah. grind it, right? Right. And so like, I still to this day will like walk by like a good set of rails and be like, ooh, <laughs> like you know, like, <laughs> I'm like I have that moment. This, this set of yeah, rails. Yeah, exactly. Calculations. So it's like I think like for the rest of my life, like. You know, who knows? If Death Battle ends one day, I still think, like, moving on, like, I'm gonna be watching media and be like, man, that character is insane. It, like, <laughs> that would mean that they really actually could be, like, doing yeah. this crap. Was, so, yeah, I'm glad that spreads now to some of the audience, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the I the mean... plague spreads. Mm -hmm. yeah, every movie, I'm just sitting there and just like, oh, that character just did that. Great. I'm just like, I'm gonna start <laughs> the, the movie's completely, the movie's just completely ruined, and I'm just thinking about how, because you know, you're gonna have to, just like, okay, how much force is it? it was like, that's not even possible, because it will just break the license. Do we have other art that we can be shown yeah, on the back? You're gonna, gonna, yeah. No, you're gonna have to be researching we that do, character. Let's go ahead and Later on, of so. course, but I'm just like, oh, God. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, watching, like, when Kira's watching cartoon shows and stuff, like, that's when I really like, because there's so many crazy things that they just do for slapstick cartoon physics, whatever, you know, it's just like, it's staggering. <laughs> yeah, it was the. I remember watching. So we did Voltron versus Power Rangers, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember like the new Voltron show on Netflix mm -hmm. was coming up, um, which is I, awesome. I remember watching it. Yeah, it's really good. But while watching it, I was thinking like, okay, like I was just naturally thinking, okay, how would this change the fight? <laughs> what would happen <laughs> if this enjoy. Voltron was fighting the Megazord? And then I had to stop myself and go like. Okay, hang on, buddy. Okay. <laughs> For one thing, you know, we, like Nick, we, we've we've gone through film school and stuff, so we're yeah. already analyzing like on a film level. Oh, like yeah, it's just yeah. something that once you once you train yourself for, our, you can't get away from it. Yeah, like our, our teacher said, "I'm going to ruin movies for you forever." Yeah. <laughs> so now, whenever we watch a movie, like we're all we're already thinking about like why it cuts to the shot, how the lighting is, where the lights are, mm -hmm. like uh, three point lighting, or where's the soft light, where's the key light, things like that. That's just something that goes through you know our heads <laughs> when we're watching a movie. Uh -huh. um, and now. On top of that kind of stuff, <laughs> we're also analyzing like how these characters can do such and such. Yeah. So it's just like this bombardment in my head whenever I watch a movie. Uh, recently, I've been able to kind of like block it out, but it's hard. You it's just, really it's so, just so natural to me. You didn't really get into reading. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that avenue I mean, is ruined for you. Even then, because of script writing, like <laughs> <laughs> that's ruined for me too. Because I can look at like a novel, writing a novel, writing a script is different. But like I, I, I'll try to like predict things as they go on because of how something is written or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I'm sure lots of people do that. Yeah, yeah. But like, I don't. It just feels different, I guess, okay. after going through that sort of. Boot camp, essentially. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so presenting death battle to so many people for so long. Speaking uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm glad it's affecting you. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but we're for, not alone. For, for yeah. me, for me, it's been more like how scientifically accurate people are just depicting space. For example, like I see like a lot of movies now. There's like, oh, I took off my helmet. Freeze, dead. I'm dead already. And it's like, no, mm -hmm. that's. That's not how it works. Like, if you take off the helmet on, on space, you literally don't die immediately. Like, it will take like a while, like at least like 20 seconds until you Which go. Which is even more horrifying, almost. <laughs> I mean, you can still survive. Like, there's like yeah, like look at Princess like, Leia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. stuff like that. Like, everyone's like, like, oh, she will, she will have that. It's like things no, like no. 60, 70 seconds for uh, your body to all the gases. Yeah, like uh, 20, 20 seconds later, you actually start losing consciousness yeah. and all that. So the the thing, the theory that you just are in space and you immediately burn or just freeze. <laughs> or just explode. It's, it's not, it, or explode. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not like not Arnold in the Magic School Bus, yeah. where he takes his fishbowl helmet exactly. off. Exactly. <laughs> and it turns into a block of ice. I, I forgot about that. Immediately, that's right. Yeah. Although, that, that is I'm the, sick of this! 
<laughs> yeah, that, that, is like that. The, that is the um, mentality that I took for years because of that. And it yep. made space like 30 times scarier. Magic School Bus lied to us. It did. And, and it, but it's, it's spread so many truths. Like, Kira knows all sorts of shit. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. And she's like, yeah, I learned that on Magic School Bus. She's like, I like that show because it's, it's fun. And then I also learn things. And I'm like, all right. Good on Great. you. Great. Science School class through uh, grade school was a breeze because of Magic School yeah, right. Bus. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, real quick, you were talking about writing, and it made me think of this. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything, so don't figure out. Did you guys watch Westworld last night? Mm -mm. Nah, I have not started. Is there that something? Show. It is a great episode. Like I'm like, yeah, I, they really had a terrible launch episode. I've been enjoying all the others mm -hmm. since then, but I really didn't like. Anyway, um, but like, so I'm watching this episode last night, and they do just like the dumbest thing. Like at one point, they'll like 99% of the episode is just incredible, and there's one scene that happens. Where this character, like, it's just falls for this thing that's so stupid. Like, the character, like, in, is, like, basically, okay, again, I'm not going to spoil anything, but he is, like, one of the dudes on, like, the train tactical, like, team, right? Trying to, like, get in here and, like, shut all this crazy shit down, right? And he just, like, totally has a moment where instead of fighting a character, he just dialogues, and it, it oh, my God. Oh, he fell for a trope. Oh, <laughs> my God. God, it's he, so bad. I was like, all the rest of the episode is incredible, and this happens, and like a big key thing happens because of this, mm -hmm. and I was like, that was the dumbest fucking way that they could have done this. Like, mm -hmm. oh, it's, it's just bugging me. If anybody else watched it, you know what part I'm talking about. Tropes. Yeah. They say evil monologue. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't evil, it was kind of. I mean, oh. Monologue monologue. Yeah, it's, oh, man, <laughs> top 10 villain monologues yeah. could be a fun video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I wanted to do top 10 <laughs> sky lasers. Which sky <laughs> lasers? God. Yeah. Right. I don't know, maybe not seriously, because I don't think that'd make for a very interesting watch, but top 10 villain monologues might actually be worthwhile. <laughs> or top 10 <laughs> moments the villain should have won or something. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, Do you right. want to see top 10 uh, sky lasers as a top 10 video from ScrewTech? <laughs> Let Nick know on Twitter, at the nervous Nick. There you go. Getting lots of shout outs here. Yeah. Yep. yep. Tell them it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, great. Great. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great <laughs> idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, I think it's time for the community death battle. Ooh. All right, so Ninja Turtles versus Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. We established last week that this is Power Rangers without Zords, because otherwise, mm -hmm. like, what are the Ninja Turtles going to do? Yeah. Uh, versus the Ninja Turtles, and to even the numbers, <laughs> we let the Turtles recruit. Venus de Milo yeah. from the oh. next mutation. <laughs> oh, yeah, we didn't tell you that. Oh, <laughs> you, no, you did not tell me that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so okay. we are not taking the Ninja Turtles as a whole from the next mutation, which I did see some people a little confused about. Oh. Uh, mm. Probably would have been good to clarify that. Like just the Ninja Turtles as a whole, but then they also just get to recruit Venus. And specifically, I was thinking about it, the reason why we're doing Venus instead of like Casey Jones or whatever is because she has the same like superhuman abilities as the Turtles. Mm -hmm. Casey would get stomped hard <laughs> by a Power Ranger, yeah. so... She also has, like, mystical magic powers. That's right. So, that's her weapon. It's like shooting chi and blasts fans, and stuff. Yeah. She uses Does a she fan. Fans? She uses a yeah. fan. Yeah, like, I don't remember that. I think she has, like, the metal fan things. And she's like, Whoa. I don't yeah. remember that at all. I'm just... You want to read them first before I throw in my... Yeah, uh, so, uh, with every community death battle, we uh, reach out to you guys, and you can use hashtag death battle cast to let us know who you think would win. And for the Ninja Turtle team, we've got an answer from <laughs> Nicholas Schaefer, and he says... Hello, Nick. Yeah, the Power Rangers don't ever really win without the, z the Zords. Zords. The Zords! Zords. <laughs> <laughs> but the Turtles fight Ninja Mutants, or Ninja Masters, Mutants, Aliens, and Interdimensional Beings, and win all the time. Totally the Turtles. Interesting. And then we got an answer for the Rangers from Delta Prime 350, and he says the Rangers can uh, can lift oh, large boulders like, easily. Can lift large, yeah, can yeah. lift large boulders easily and can run at 30 miles per hour. They nearly beat Batman, and Batman once defeated the entire Ninja Turtles crew on his own. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Turtles are cooked. The, the I the forgot Batman about scale. them. Yeah. They both scale. fought Batman. I mean, although I, I the gotta, Turtles teamed up with Batman. Later on, like at, at first it was like, hold on, who are you? You're weird. Let's fight. Did, did Splinter actually all of them? It, it was Splinter actually stopped the fight. 
because it's like, oh, they're getting beat right. up. Right, I remember that now. Yeah, like, yeah. It was kind of a stalemate at that point. He, he, he beat all of them except for, I think, like, Leo. Leonardo was about to start fighting, and the players are like, stop, we have to go. And, right. Oof. So he didn't beat all four of them, but he had taken down three of them. Yeah. And Leo was about to, like, mm -hmm. really get in the mix. So okay. my thing is just that no one brought it up, but, like, the Power Rangers have guns. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I feel that's gonna well, be really on. helpful. It, no, no, like, the turtles the, fight people with guns all the time. Yeah, like yeah, literally, no, 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 But do they? Can they? Can the people they fight normally combine all of their weapons together and see, shoot a super laser that it, will like see, disintegrate the, the turtles? This is this is the thing. Like, I'm a humongous Ninja Turtle fan, <laughs> and no amount of my fanboyism I think is going to justify them winning against this gun. <laughs> this, this this stupid looking pile of. <laughs> Metal and plastic, whatever it is. When the, you mean when they combine their yeah, weapons? Yeah, yeah. So, so. If if they don't take out the villain of the week with the Megazord, they use that. Yep. Sure. It seems just as effective, from what I can tell, <laughs> as a Megazord. Sure. So, but it takes them at least thirty seconds to put it together. Yeah, and it the monsters it. they go up against can't stop it. So they're not the Ninja know. Turtles, though. Yeah. Ninja, the Ninja Turtles aren't a giant monster that. that's going to destroy the world. I, I don't know where. Did, no, but I'm saying, like, wouldn't the turtles, there's five of them, and it takes all five Power Rangers to put together the gun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wouldn't the Ninja Turtles be able to take advantage of that? They'd probably have a moment where they're just like, Maybe. what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> like, you know? Like, they're just like, like well, because they're doing this, like, flashy shit. Like, I Jason didn't... jumps into the air and turns yeah, yeah. his sword into, mm -hmm. like, the, I don't even know what part yeah, of the it just is. lays it, it on It looks top. like an airplane. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah. Here, I have this model plane. I want to hand it to oh, you. Right. They like throw. They like throw the weapons in the air, right? Yeah. Well, see, like, this is another thing though, because I can't remember a time when the assembly of this weapon was ever interrupted. Because like the, it, it, same goes for the Megazord transformation. Like it. Can we the way pull the it show up? Is put together. Clip? I'd love yeah, it. yeah, yeah. The clip would be great. I like, think there's the, some the fan theory that like it all happens within the morphing grid or something like that. Yeah. Though no, I'm pretty hmm. sure the the Megazord transformation has been interrupted before. Voltron's transformation has been. I don't, I don't think the Megazords the has. Maybe not the original Megazords. Either way, whenever the. I was going to say, like, how would they? Whenever the they Power only Rangers. Have the footage from the show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless... Not the original one. Yeah. But, like, whenever, later one. Whenever the Power Rangers are assembling that episode's Deus Ex Machina, <laughs> it's, I don't think it's ever been interrupted, which could imply that either the villains they're up against are too slow or stupid to stop it, or they're just too fast. Yeah. Given that. Like every single monster has failed, as far as I can tell. I could be wrong. Okay. Then it makes me think that it might be, just be too fast for any of them. Listen, to Mike, react. there, there have... is a scene where the light speed Megazord, which is technically not the same timeline, was interrupted. Doesn't matter. Mm. <laughs> I have no evidence that it's there's. Not the same timeline? Can be interrupted. Yeah. Not so light speed, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say the Power Rangers because one, there's, I mean, they have superhuman abilities and they have guns, and they can put yeah. those guns and weapons together to form a super gun that will just annihilate the turtles. The That's Power Rangers are. Plus, were... Mikey's gonna take a moment to hit on Kimberly. God. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when his defining trait wasn't horniness? Yeah, that was nice. It was just I mean, it wasn't in the most recent cartoon. But like in the in the Michael Bay movie. In the movie, sure. Yeah. Which is. Uh, what, what about Donnie's it? tech? Donnie's tech, it's really cool. It's also pretty ghetto. Um, <laughs> it's just made out of stuff he finds in the sewers. It, it works shockingly well. Donnie and Billy just have a so, nerd off. <laughs> like, yeah, so, so that's really impressive, but I think the Rangers' tech is more state-of-the-art. Their, their powers are more, like, definitively superhuman. The turtles, like, they're clearly very, very strong, but, like, I don't know. They're not pulling power from an alternate dimension that lets them jump 90 feet into the air and stuff like that. Well, either. they can actually have like an extra mutation, right? Like at the end of like the fun season, they could actually just throw it. Yeah. 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 Here we go. We got, really we, got we got the clip. Like, yeah, they yeah. throw it together. Just throw it. Just look. Where are look they? Look at that accuracy. Raphael will just they? throw his daggers to, to her and she will be dead. They look like they're in front of, uh, like when you're getting your photos taken, a family mm -hmm. photo. Like they're in front of one of those just. White back. Yeah, they throw That's it why together I think pretty quick. It was yeah. that it takes I don't know. It looks Man, like it's, fuck you. It seems to be like look no at this time. thing. And he blows up. I don't know. I think they'll be clearly. They could just jump out of the laser, out of the way. Little ninjas. They they have the reflexes to just. I, I, guess, dodge I guess lasers. That is true. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. yeah they in, have. in the Technodrome, all the time. Yeah. Oh, all everything the time. shoots That's lasers. True. So okay. Yeah. Okay. Every time. So if I'm you still sting with the Power Rangers, they're gonna knock them around a little bit, and then they're gonna blast them with the super gun. Well, other no, I, other I, argument for the turtles is that they have much better training. 
They've been training yes. all their lives That's to be true. ninjas. The Power Rangers, aside from Jason and maybe Zack, yes. have jack shit for training. Like, they've got the yeah, powers. Zach's got hip hop keto, man. That's why I said <laughs> yeah, I know. Jason, yeah. maybe Zach. Because Zach's like, he developed his own martial art and he kind of helps Jason out. Well, um, well, but he's not, I don't even remember if he's said. part of the class. Like, Jason teaches a martial arts class. Mm -hmm. well, I don't see, remember if Zach does. I, I don't think that's quite as much of an issue unless they were all unmorphed. When they are morphed, um, in the first episode of Power Rangers, as, as they're flying, as the like color streaks in the sky, mm -hmm, or whatever, right. yeah. I think it's Kimberly who says something like, it's like I just know how to do all this. Like, so oh, yeah, right. like a sixth they, sense. They, 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 it's like Neo from the Matrix, right? They get Where they all just the like fight, download yeah. information on like how yeah. to do all this stuff. They just, they just know it when they're morphed. Maybe, Maybe yeah. after the first morph, they just knew. <laughs> so, mm. the, yeah, because I mean, I don't know. This they, is closer they, than I thought. They got, they got their training. This from still a, doesn't change a, experience, though. From a hit of like, a Like they may have all the training like downloaded into their heads. Unless but. they also have all the experience from previous Power Rangers or whatever from more into the morphing group. I don't, I'm, uh, that, if that's a thing, it was never established. Yeah, I know for certain that it's yeah. never established. Yeah. I don't know. No. I, I think the Ninja Turtles training and their Look. different kinds of weapons and their... Because they are superhuman. They're super fast. Yes. They're super yeah, yeah. strong. I think they could pull this off. I'd say power. Especially with Venus shooting chi energy <laughs> all go. over the place. Well, see, okay. Let's just blast if, that one first. If, 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 a, if a turtle does hit a Power Ranger, what is the worst that could possibly happen? There's going to be some sparks that fly. They're going to go, oh! <laughs> and, and then, then they lose their, their powers, and they're pretty much helpless. And then, the, yes. and then, well, if they, get, if they get hit hard enough, yes, then yeah. it would be a shot. We'll just mutate just rolling in normal clothes. Them and crush but, them. Like, okay, when, even when you compare the actual weapons, again, the turtles, much props to them, they got a real ghetto setup. These weapons are like... And it works. Just from the sewers or something like... <laughs> I don't know. From. It works pretty well for Donnie. And they Everybody, shoot And pizza. they always win. <laughs> See, the projectiles they choose could be a lot more well, lethal. Yeah. But if we're not giving them the Zords, we probably no, can't we cannot give, give the turtles like the pizza like the, launcher. The, the turtle van? Like the turtle van or anything like or that. Or the pizza tank. I don't really all right, like so let's, let's go ahead and vote. So Chad, Power Rangers, Power Rangers Gerardo. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all the way. Closer than I thought it would be, still going to say Power Rangers. And he's a huge Turtles fan. Oh, I man. Dude. I know, I know. I, oh, I no. want the Turtles to win. No, I don't know. It, I want them to win. I they fight all the time like stuff like the Power Rangers. Like even in Dimensions, Aliens, they dodge... Everything that you throw at them, they have the opportunity. And if you think about power and, and experience, they have it. Like, it, it, they will destroy the power. Sure. No. no. They have to fight Super Shredder all the time. He's basically yeah. like a Power Rangers villain. I'm going to say the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Like, all right, two and two. We're tied here. So this comes down to the poll from you guys. So let's go ahead and bring that up and see what the community had to say. Yeah! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, Come on. I'm disappointed. That's right. Even though I said power, I was, I was hoping turtles. there'd be more turtle power out there. Uh, that's you that's a pretty big gap too, at power. least compared to the last. Yeah, time. that was a good job, everybody. That's unfortunate, but like, thank you for voting. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, and I, I don't know. I think it'd be an interesting death battle to do. Come like on. maybe maybe we wouldn't put Venus the, in it. Come on, the teenagers <laughs> that were trained by by somebody on a well, head okay. of a jar. Nick, you really? Lost. Here, you lost. Really? Here, here's here's a question. Uh -huh. If we were to swap Venus for Splinter, do you think that could change things? Oh. Um, Man, I don't really know Splinter. Depends on the it dep Splinter's a badass. It might depend yeah. on the iteration of Splinter because in the Just in the pause him. throw them all together. In the 2012 show, that he is awesome. You, if you haven't seen the Nickelodeon, show, I need to see that. You've got to watch it. I if, keep saying. If, if April is as big of a Turtles fan as you say, oh, yeah. you guys owe it to yourselves to watch. She used to show. tell people that she was her parents named her April after April O'Neil. Like, <laughs> that is what yeah, she would tell I, I brag about it, too, like, in her case. There, there, yeah. there, there's some dumb filler episodes in, in the new show. Uh, or I guess it's it's over now. It right? is over. Yeah, but, like, overall, it's a really good show. Splinter is awesome. Okay. Like, he's, he's got a couple fights in there, and, like, when, when, he, when he goes to fight for real, you know it gets serious. It, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So Splinter, just from that show, I think he... I would. I want to say he's probably a bigger asset than Venus. I don't remember anything Venus did. She just had some vague magical, like Mortal Kombat, chi type abilities. I don't remember what all that did. Probably not very effective. And being <laughs> hit on by all the turtles. I mean, it, it was also Saban weird. who made that, so it probably just made little poofs of smoke. It did. Yeah. It just made little sparks, and, and very much like the Power Rangers explosions mm -hmm. off their mm -hmm. chest and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but like, maybe it would change things. I think maybe if if you go with uh, a composite splinter, he's he is not to be screwed with. Maybe that'd be worth looking into. Someday. He took on Super Shredder by himself. Yeah. In the yeah. 2012 show. 
Power Almost one, too. I mean, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we've got a, uh, an upcoming community death battle as requested by Yvonne uh, Escado. Uh, and it is going to be Mr. Incredible versus Wreck It Ralph. Ooh. The Incredibles 2 comes out next <laughs> week, I believe. The uh, Disney really? CGI yeah. wow, strong finally. people who wear red. Yeah. And have uh, Widow's Peak hairlines. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We're not pre recording next <laughs> week, are we? Not no, week, but no, week. no, okay. So two weeks. We're good. So uh, this one will be a live poll on the uh, live show mm -hmm. next Friday. Yep. Uh, so tune in next Friday at 4 p.m. We will discuss this and uh, poll you guys to see who you think wins, and uh, we'll figure out who wins between Mr. Incredible and Wreck It Ralph. We're gonna have to like, where are they fighting? Because like, Ralph's not real. <laughs> He's real, like, he's real like, in our hobby. I mean, he's in, in a, real. he's a, he's data. Mr. In a video Incredible game. is like sucked into the internet or into the arcade game, and he's got all of his powers. But does Ralph technically have access to like Matrix style powers or no? Unless no, something happens in Wreck It Ralph 2. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm worried yeah. about. That's what I'm really worried about because it's this. Wreck It Ralph 2 doesn't come out for months or whatever. Alright, fine. Well, until yeah. then. It's sure, fine. Mr. Incredible is now magically a video game character. He just gets sucked into Sugar. What is I mean, he place? wasn't Infinity Games. Sugar Rush. Sugar oh. Rush, and both of them are there, and they're fighting, and there's candy all around. There, there you go. go. That's the that's the there scenario. Perfect. Uh, um, all right, and uh, if you want something else to do right now after the show ends, we've got a top ten Street Fighter twos. Just came out. <laughs> yeah. That's the list that I've wanted I'm to make for that many years. <laughs> so many uh, I'm excited. versions of Street Fighter uh -huh. 2. It's ridiculous. And then uh, a DBX uh, featuring Pac Man versus Yoshi. Oh, real quick. Oh, man. This one's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was worked on for a very, very, very long time. Mm. Uh, but we, it's all, it all got finished up, and it's really fun. So check I haven't out. gotten to see it yet. Do they just constantly eat each other? No, you'll see. It's, <laughs> okay. it's it, like, it, it's really working good. on that, right? So if you're watching this on Friday or later, it is up. Um, it is up for first members on Friday, I believe. Yeah. And then uh, it goes live on YouTube. And on Saturday. Yep. yep. All right. And then, of course, we're going to have our post show, Sudden Death, for first members. Hope you can tune in Stick to that um, this weekend. And that's it. Yep. See you next time. Cool. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.